hit that really hurts mommy's feelings. I feel so sad when you hit. Do not do that. Also, don't do this. No hitting. Toy is done. I don't want you to say mommy feels so sad when you hit me like that because you make your child responsible for the feelings and you don't teach them what to do with the anger. You're not even addressing why they just hit. You're just inserting yourself and making you the main thing. But I also don't want you just to take it away and say no hitting, here's why. First of all, the language structure not, no, not, stop, don't, doesn't develop the two and a half to three and a half years old. And so if this is a one and a half or a two year old or even a young three year old, they might not yet have it. Even if they're four, they're clearly agitated. That's why they're hitting you with the truck. And so it's not the time to ask them to decode all this language. It's the time to tell them exactly what to do and then hold a boundary. Does the truck need to go up? It may. But before I did that, I want to catch this happening before the kid hits. So the truck goes up and I say, oh, truck, stay on ground. You're doing it. Okay, so I've given them extra support and now I'm praising for the positive thing. You're doing it. Now, if they are mad, I might say, oh, truck stand on ground. Ooh, tight arms. And then I'm gonna guide them to another way to release that energy, that feeling that is healthy, that doesn't involve hitting you with the bus. Now, if I say tr bus stays on ground and my child continues to be agitated and hit with it, that's my cue. Even if their little body tenses up, they're not actually ready to play with the bus. It's too tricky. So I'm gonna be super consistent. When I give the positive opposite, my child can cooperate and I see their little body tense up. I'm gonna put the truck up and say, hey, you know what? We can try again tomorrow, tonight, after dinner, whenever. And then I'm gonna transition them to an activity that is like big motor, like riding a bike, climbing a tree, going outside, running upstairs. Now, if my child says, no, 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 I want it, I want it, I want it, I won't hit. I'm gonna look at them and I'm gonna slowly say, oh, Playing with bus means bus stays on ground. If their body softens, great. And I'm going to stay right here. And if the bus comes up, you know what I'm doing. A bus stays on ground. If their body does not soften, if it's like, ah, that's my cue. They're not actually ready. Go back to the other part about where you go outside and do big motor movements. It's okay to move, remove a toy sometimes because it's too tricky. You don't wanna do that all the time because then you go fall into parenting by taking away and especially you want to make sure that you are also proactively teaching your child how to play with this in a socially appropriate way, four wheels on the ground. Maybe you make a song about it, you do some hand motions, you practice. Now we're gonna practice playing with the bus. Four wheels on the ground. Wait, how does that song go? Four wheels on the bus, go round and round. You can make a mix songs like that, right? Round and round, here we go, you're doing it. Wow, bus on ground. Now I'm teaching them, not when they're all agitated, later, how to do it. And over time, when I repeat those steps again, and I'm like uber consistent, it's gonna stop happening, I promise.